Are you a self-publisher using Amazon KDP and want to maximise your earnings? Well, stick around and I will show you an easy way to do it. And this won't be what you're expecting, mates. When you self-publish a book, there are several things that you need to do to do it well. Let's just break down all the things that you need to have to effectively publish a book on Amazon KDP. Number one, you're going to need an attractive, professional-looking book cover, which is going to draw clicks from browsers onto your Amazon listing. Number two, you're going to need an interior, the inside of the book. Depending on if your book is a low, medium or high content book, that will affect how easy it is to create the interior. Number three, you're going to need a compelling book description. Your book description is like your salesperson who's going to convince browsers to become buyers. And it can actually be quite tricky to get it right. Number four, you need A plus content on your Amazon book page. That is so that you can stand out against the competition. And if you are publishing low content books, A plus content is vital so that people can actually see the inside of your book because low content books don't get a look inside feature like high content books do. Number five, your book's metadata. I'm talking about the title, the subtitle, the seven backend keyword slots and the categories. These are absolutely essential to get right so that your book can be found when people are searching on Amazon. And number six, how we are going to market our books going forward so that we get consistent sales, which often is like a thorn in most self-publishers' sides. So you see, there's lots of things that are required to successfully publish on Amazon KDP as a self-publisher. All of these things take time. Especially if you don't know what you're doing, don't have the correct tools, or simply just don't have the time to do it all. People have busy lives, you know. And this is where you have a large opportunity to capitalise on the self-publishing skills you already have, or if you learn a new skill, how you can profit from that skill. So what is it, Ben, that you are talking about here? Well, before we go into it, if you are liking this video, please leave it a like, and if you haven't subscribed already, please do. Cheers. I am, of course, talking about using your self-publishing skills and becoming a freelancer. You become great at doing one or multiple parts of the self-publishing process and simply charge a fee for doing the same for others. Doing this means that not only are you earning money from the sales of your Amazon KDP books, but you are earning money from the skills that you've learned whilst publishing those books. The other benefit of freelancing is that any tools or programs that you've paid for to help you in your self-publishing journey, you can earn money back from them for helping others, which essentially makes those tools free. So the best way to explain the concept of a self-publishing freelancer is by an example. And what better example to show than myself? Okay, so I use a website called Fiverr to sell my freelancing services. And I coach self-publishers on marketing and how to sell more of their Amazon KDP books. All I've simply done is take one part of the self-publishing process that I'm good at and teach others how to do it. So if we just pull this down here, you can see that this is my main gig here. I will coach you on a killer indie book launch and marketing strategy. And if we click on the actual gig itself, you can see that it's got this neat thing where you can have these different kind of levels. So I've kind of got a basic package, a standard package and a premium package, depending on what people want. And as you do gigs, you start to pick up reviews. OK, so you can see a few of my reviews here. Now, the more reviews that you get on Fiverr, the more visibility that your gig gets. Now, you can do this too. For example, you could make book covers. You could use programs like Kittle or Canva. And the more that you do it, the better you will become at it. You could then sell that service on Fiverr as a freelancer. So I've typed in book covers in the search bar. And as you can see down here, we've got lots of different people who are offering different services from different price points. So as you can see here, you've got some people who are offering kind of £108, which is probably about $140. Um, and, you know, got people who are doing it for less. What you would do is start small and as you start to build a bit of reputation, obviously increase your prices. But if you thought to yourself, I'm not the sort of person who could be a book cover designer, you could do something else. Maybe you could be a proofreader. So I've typed in proofreading here. And if you go down here, there's lots of different services 
offering proofreading as well. What about providing self-publishers great metadata, keywords and categories and the like? You could use a program like um, Self Publishing Titans Pro or Publisher Rocket. So I've typed in KDP keywords. As you can see here, there is plenty of gigs offering this service. So look, this one here is category and keyword research from £32. This one here is profitable niches and keyword research from £12. So even if you don't have the design ability, you could still do the keyword research and sell that as a service. I've typed in book descriptions and look at all the different book descriptions gigs there is. I typed in book marketing and as you can see there is plenty of book marketing gigs here as well. You know you could even publish someone's book on Amazon KDP on their behalf if they're not tech savvy. Guys you could do this. So the most important thing that you need to do when you're setting yourself up as a freelancer on Fiverr is to make sure that you get some early reviews. And the way that I did that was to simply go to some self-publishing friends and offer them my services at the lowest possible price. Once I had 10 or so reviews, I was already beating 99% of the competition. So it's important for you to make self-publishing friends. So why don't you join my self-publishing help group, which I will put a link to in the description below. And in no time, you'll be a top rated freelancer and a flying mate. Don't forget to like and subscribe and until next time, bye.